My name is Molly and I'm seven years old. I'm in second grade and my question is, how does electricity go through wires? So I'm Dan Ludis. I'm a professor of electrical and computer engineering here at the University of Wisconsin-Madison. The simple answer is, is that there are charges inside wires and these charges can be acted on by an electric field and they can move through the wire in something that's called an electric current. So moving charge uh, is an electric current and we uh, use that to push power uh, through wires. The electric grid is one of the most complicated things ever built by man and it's this vast interconnection of wires and uh, not just wires, all the various components like transformers and substations and all these things. It's a vast network that's designed to move tremendous amounts of, of energy, power, uh, all over the world. Uh, and for those of us here in the States, uh, we have the luxury of having a very uh, robust and reliable power grid. And so we have all of these power plants, whether it's solar or wind or coal or nuclear, and they all put power into the grid. And the grid is this you know, super highway that allows that power to move around and be used by consumers. Generally speaking, <coughs> it's a fairly straightforward concept. So first thing you need to have is some kind of energy source. So well, usually, in most cases, uh, we burn something. So that's a coal or an oil or a natural gas. And then we make that and we use that heat to make steam and then the steam turns a turbine, so something that spins. Um, from there, uh, the, the spinning, we usually attach magnets to the thing that's spinning. And it turns out, uh, something called Faraday's Law, when you have spinning magnets near a coil of wire, uh, you make a voltage. And so you can then use that voltage to push electrons through the wires. And then those moving electrons go to where they're supposed to be and they can do work. Um, and so that, in a nutshell, is how the electric grid works. <laughs>